So I <laughs> love causographs. I'm a bit biased here. And, but I actually do love them for a reason. And that is because I think they are super helpful for teaching and for explaining stuff. And I think a lot of science is just about explaining stuff to others, right? So you have that idea in your head that this is how the data need to be analyzed, but now you need to communicate that. And I think graphs are just a super good way to communicate that. My opinion here might be colored by the fact that I'm a psychologist. And so we do have a strong tradition of structural equation modeling, path modeling, or just people drawing these little process graphs with, with arrows all over them. So it's a very intuitive language, um, at least for me as a psychologist. And then I do find that it's super intuitive for my students as well. So I've taught this to um, like first year undergraduate students in psychology who hadn't heard anything about statistics, but actually don't need much statistics to understand um, 